Hey there! In this lecture, you're going to learn how to create your very first Flexbox layout using the example you can see on the page here. I've already added a little bit of styling in the basic.css file, though this has nothing to do with the Flexbox itself. Here in the index.html, you can see the markup for the example. It contains a nav element with the class of container, and inside of that container, we have three divs, which are the flex items. As you might guess, we're going to create a navbar here, as this displays home, search, and logout. Now, the first thing you need to understand is the concept of a container and its items, as that's always how you build up your Flexbox layout. They don't have to be divs or navs. It could have been UL element, and this could be list elements, or whatever you want. As long as they are direct children of the Flexbox container, they turn into flex items. So let's turn this example here into a Flexbox layout. I'm going to head over to the index.css and I've already given the container a border, which you can see around the example here. But as we haven't done anything else with this layout, these divs will now just stack themselves on top of each other. So to turn this into a Flexbox layout, simply give the container a display of flex. As you can see, it automatically lines up the elements horizontally as opposed to vertically as it was before. So by default, Flexbox will distribute the items going from left to right. And as you also can see, the Flexbox container is by default a block element, as it takes up all available space in the width, except for the little margin I've added to the left and right hand side. Okay, so that was a very quick introduction to Flexbox. In the next lecture, I'm going to teach you about the concept of access, as that is core in order to understand Flexbox properly. So I'll see you there.